That just looks like poppin' bees. What? What's poppin' bees? What's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sounds. <laughs> Uh, Derek, so at 12.03 p.m., this was this yesterday? Was this yesterday <laughs> you texted me? Yesterday. This might have been yesterday. At 12.03 p.m., Derek texts me, life so good, I haven't beat in like five days, which is great. So good, right? Great, Because you right? know when you, life is so good, you don't, all your addictions just like are in the, the back of your head. Yeah. Or like yeah. the back of your head isn't like not at the front of your head, right? Because if something is in the back of your head, does that mean it's there or no? It's <clears throat> it's in the back, right? Yeah, You're like you're not thinking about it, right? I'm not thinking about it exactly. Like sometimes, like life is so good for me right now that I don't even have the my addictions and my vices aren't really like targeting me right now. Like that's you're up right now, then, yeah. Huh? But but you know, then so at twelve oh three, you text me that. Okay. okay, you say life is so good, <laughs> haven't beaten in five days. So then at twelve fifty one, I text you fucking demon because you were a demon that's crazy five days five days a demon for a single man it's a demon that's pretty good yeah i think for the average single man your that's average single true. guy but then 10 minutes later at 1 12 p.m you text me i lost <laughs> now, he just says i lost i just i had to screenshot this and just fucking i just want to start the episode with that because derek we never talked about this what went through your head for in that hour you were so up life so good you literally said life so good what happened okay, in that so, hour wait first of all you like the frame right now i, I fuck with the frame okay. if you fuck with him i fuck with the frame so the thing is you know when you <coughs> aren't hungry and you're like, oh, I'm not hungry. Even though you, you could have not eaten in like 10 hours, but you don't feel hungry. And then you catch a whiff of like church's chicken or something. Oh. Or quesada. That's worse. And then you're like, whoa, like I'm hungry. So it's the it's like a reminder because you weren't hungry before. So this was my 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 horniness, my desire yeah. to, to ejaculate was like gone. So, but But what made you hungry? That's the question. <laughs> were you on TikTok? Did you what were you messaging no. me and you were like, damn, he looks good today? What was it? Well, the, the, the thought of I haven't beat off in five days put it in my head that Yeah, but I you were sure. so up. You said life is so good. You seemed like you seemed so happy in that original text message. What happened within the hour, brother? It's just sort of like I think for abstaining and like participating in no fab, which is not something I, I flex. I'm like like I'm not one of those people that it's like, oh, I'm no fap. Yeah, yeah. I don't like categorize myself as no fap. But in high school, like, you know how I just used to never do that? Mm -hmm. I used to just like abstain. You you, like, you would months. abstain for like a year sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah. It's sort of like, I think there's like a one and a half to two week thing where if you really go two weeks, like. You just can, you stop forever. You could stop forever if you yeah. want to. But five days is actually not that much. Like. It's you not know. that much for a for a man no, who's in a yeah, but you you you're 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 a single man. Now. I know, but my point is five days. It's the desires in me still, no matter how good. <laughs> oh my life yeah, is. you haven't hit the two week threshold yeah, yet. I right? haven't hit the threshold, so it's like oh, I start thinking about it and I spiral. That's how people relapse. Yeah, but then what was the what was the did you <laughs> did you go on Pinterest or something and you saw like a really good fit and made you horny like i'm really confused what guy yeah <laughs> i need to know what made you fall <laughs> just so quickly the thought of it bro <laughs> like like you were just thinking about it well so no like just the thought of a the the feel good of it the thought of your dick being stroked wasn't like it just got you horny well no like i rem i have like a good like understanding of what it feels like I mean, yeah, you, you've been at it for like at least like five years now, huh? Yeah. At least. Yeah. So. And I'll tell you this right now. What well, let me finish my thought. Yeah. I just know what it feels like. I know it feels good. And I thought about the feeling and I was like, I kind of want that feeling right now. Nothing really push it. Okay. Okay. No, it's just like, it's like sometimes during the day, it's like, oh, I could really go yes. for being drunk right now. Right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I see what like, you mean. You remember the good feeling. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I could hit that real quick. Yeah. But I'll yeah. tell you this right now. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel good. Like, after a five day bust, it didn't feel good, huh? No. That's weird. It sort of was like, it sort of felt like if you were really hungry and then you ate like a salad. 
It's like oh, it's oh, like oh, not like satisfying. The salad is it's like on a juice cleanse. Ah, dude, hey, literally. You want to go on a juice cleanse with me? You want to? Because we're both sick right now. I don't know if you guys can tell by the sound of my voice and the multiple coughs I've had, yeah. and we've only been like two minutes in, but I've, I've, I keep coughing. Like, do you want to go on a juice cleanse with me? Maybe that's what we need. I would do juice cleanse because <clears throat> I don't really eat that good, and I want my s- sperm to taste good. Just for you? Nah, for like a p- potential customer. Okay, 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 okay. Potential, you know, the bell rings yeah, yeah, when yeah, someone yeah. walks in the store, yeah, yeah. and you want you want it to look clean already. Yeah, exactly. That's great. You know, but you know, you would have to juice cleanse for a very long time. Like, if you juice cleanse for one week and then you go back to hitting the burgers. No, I don't even eat bad. I just don't. Well, actually, recently I haven't been eating bad because I've been sick for yeah. like two weeks. And like, when you're sick, you don't really want to eat <laughs> bad. Mm-hmm. I just haven't been eating nothing. I haven't been eating anything. So you want your cum to taste good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just I still like... haven't tasted it, by the way. Bucky's episode comes out next week, but in that episode, we talk about eating cum. Um, I haven't, I've had yet to do it. Yeah, I just feel like it's not necessarily, like, obviously, there's this weird thing, like, oh, you're trying your own sperm? That's so weird. But at the same there's time, stigma. Like, yeah, but tell me what's weird about it. Like, inherently weird. It's, I think if a woman tried her own breast milk, that's not weird. I think it's out of curiosity, really. But it's something about eating your own cum. Okay, so, but. It's just weird. I don't know Let's why. break this down. Okay, okay. Neanderthal jerks. Bus, yeah. Tries it. Mm-hmm. It's not, why is it weird? He's just a Neanderthal. He doesn't know any better. And at heart, we're sort of just humans. Like We're just homo sapiens. That's all we are. Yeah. And now there's these societal norms. Society makes it weird. But we don't want to be... I don't want to be confined by society. If I want my nut, I want my nut. (laughs) If you want to... Yeah, if you you, you want to try that delicacy, go for it, bro. Exactly. Well, because there was... Wait, what were the old cavemen again? There was homo sapiens. What was there else? There was homo sapiens. There was homo... Erectus. There was homo... Which we've we've talked about homo (laughs) erectus. But then there was other ones, right? There was Neanderthals. Uh I'm forgetting one more, though. This is a... I think it was Poppin' Bees. That's the last one I'm forgetting. (laughs) Dude, what the fuck is Poppin' Bees like? (laughs) What's Poppin' Bees? Welcome back to Beer Sauce. My name is Nicholas Possibot. D-R-E-K-S-H-U, Derek Zoo, Mango Smoothie Zoo. Happy Zoo. Are you up right now? Are you happy right now? Yeah, I'm really happy. Have you been beating more now that you're out of a relationship? Dude. Oh, God. Let's get into this. For the first, like... (laughs) <laughs> two <laughs> three weeks straight jerking straight jays man straight, wait could i could i ask you your daily average like was it one or was it two like what was it at? Oh, like one and a half oh that's still that's still three weeks straight one and a half that's like who the fuck is that i don't know that was a really weird knock somebody just knocked on derek's door I'm going to cut this part out of the episode now because Derek's going to be gone for a couple minutes. But that was a really creepy knock on the door. I'm scared right now. And you should be as well. Yo, what was that, bro? Dude, is there some, like, lady with, like, an iPad? She's trying to sell me something. She's trying to sell you something? (coughs) When I used to be, like... When I used to be a teenager... Yeah? And there was, like, people that would, like, sell stuff to your house. It's, like, donations a lot of the Mm -hmm. time. She's, she's still there. She's right there. Oh my god. She's yeah, well, right there. I, she's I looking said, at us through the fucking window. Well, I literally said I was doing something. Like, yeah. I was really busy. And she was like, can I just make it quick? And I was like, nah, bitch, I got <laughs> content to make. Like, <laughs> But, but in, in like, yeah. high school, I would just like listen to them for like 10 minutes. Because I know oh, yeah, because no. I, I still do that now as a people pleaser. I just don't answer the door now. Yeah, but I'm thinking like, what if it was my neighbor? Like, what if he was like, like, oh my god, my fucking like mom just died. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't do. have a peephole at my door though. I don't have a peephole. Yeah, me neither. If I saw my neighbor, because I know what all my neighbors look like, right? I would yeah. open it. If it was my neighbor. I don't have a peephole. You yeah, have, so I just have to risk it. Like, <laughs> what if it's someone with a pump shotgun, like ready to kill me? Here? Yeah, bro. What if guns get legalized in Canada, yo? What oh, happens then? Way. But you've been beating. You've been beating more now. It's okay, that's the thing, right? What is considered a lot? Because. I don't one you you jerk less than XQC does. I don't watch really? XQC. I just want to put that out there. I don't watch XQC, but I saw a TikTok clip of him. Somebody asked him how much he jerked off, and he was like two times a day. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Yeah, and I, this might be a hot take, but if you see like a Discord mod, a Gleer, you assume he jerks off more. Yeah, mm-hmm. but when you look at me, I feel like the assumption's a bit lower. That like, you know, like you yeah. don't you don't need to jerk off. Yeah, I feel like the assumption is there that I just masturbate like less. Yeah. So it's like 
what is standard, you know? Because, okay, so like the first three weeks of my breakup, let's make it four. I actually lied, y'all. Oh, shit. One month of pumping. Well, pumping, like, I would just consistently do it out like once a day. Okay. Which is like, that's not, not that unhealthy. Bad. Like, there was days where I'd go, like, I'd hit the, because I, I remember when I talked about this on the Elf you hit the, You hit the three piece? piece. You hit the three piece? The yeah. Three piece. That was the max. I'd never hit four. Mm-hmm. I didn't like a, like, I haven't long hit long four time. in years, bro. Yeah. Hitting four is really hard these days. Dude, well, I could, like, if I woke up at nine. I would have to have a regiment if I want. I don't think I have enough time in the day to do four. I think you could. Like, if you woke up early to do it and then went back to bed and then lunch. Yeah, but I need to schedule it. That's hard at that point, dude. Well, I'm saying you could do it, though. Yeah, yeah. It's possible. Well, how how long has it been since you've been out of a relationship? Dude, not that long, but it feels long. What do you mean not that long? long? Because I haven't been keeping track of it. Like, what's the date? What's the date? Oh, you know the exact day? It's January 16th. It's like a month and a half. It's pretty long. But like, <clears throat> okay, so what's long? Because I was in the relationship for a year and a half. Yeah. You know, I've been out the relationship for a month and a half. And I don't think about that person anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, Damn, I, re- not at all. Not really, dude. Wow, not at all. And I, I thought I was, there was something wrong with me. Yeah. So, okay. Cause, so let's say I'm watching like high school video like a uh, netflix original right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they go through a breakup yeah this is what they're doing i'm the i'm the girl okay like oh, oh, i miss jeff <laughs> right okay yeah, yeah 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 and then the guy is like oh like i miss stephanie i'm gonna go fuck other bitches right so I'm yeah like, oh like this is how it's gonna be like am i gonna miss jeff or, or am i gonna like yeah. yeah that's such a stereotypical like tv type thing though yeah and i know it's not real but at the same time like i didn't know it was real yeah, I guess because so, it was your. Th- w- this was pretty much your first like, yeah, long term like proper breakup, mm-hmm. huh? Like proper yeah. proper. So it's like I didn't know what was gonna happen, and like the first week, I was like super sad and everything. Makes sense. But at the same time, like, I wasn't how Billie Eilish or Olivia Rodrigo like would portray it in music. So I'm like, there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me, right? Yeah. Well, because you you're comparing yourself to like this media, I know. and it's just, just different reaction. But also media is fake. Exactly. Too, you know? So then I start talking to like our older friends mm-hmm. and they're like, oh no, like I've had this happen to me. Like this happened to me recently. Like. Yeah. Which kind of validated you. And I'm like, wow, like I don't have to have this extreme emotional reaction. I can because I know that I suppress my emotions yeah. and I know I'm an avoid attachment type. So when I couldn't, when I didn't feel sad anymore after like three weeks, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, there's something wrong. Like, yeah. I haven't taken the correct steps to fulfill or to complete this task of getting over it. Mm-hmm. And now I've gotten fake over it because I watched so many videos on like attachment type and attachment theory. Mm-hmm. And basically, it's always like, oh, the avoidant attachment type always feels better really early, but then it hits them later on. So I'm watching these videos and I'm like, oh my God, like this is happening to me. I've taken the wrong Do steps. Do you think it's going to hit you later on? No, well, I guess you you wouldn't know. It's it, it's hard to tell. I don't think it will. But, but you the don't videos think it... are saying it will. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll see in a couple months. Then I, guess. I don't think it will though. I'm I'm like no disrespect to anybody, but I'm really happy I'm not in that relationship anymore, dude. That's what I was like when I was was out of my first relationship. I was like, I woke up the next day. Obviously, I was sad. Yeah, because I had to say goodbye to that part, t- chapter of my life. Yeah. But I was gleeful. But you're like, get off me. I was like, yeah, it was like, it was like an uncomfortable shirt. Like, get this beta shit off me. Yeah. <laughs> I had to rip it off. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like it was, it was kind of like that. I felt like, um, I feel like I'm more calculated than you though, when it comes to breakups. Like I like, like, really? Well, like, like calculate as in getting over it, like the steps, that- not the steps, but like, I really thought about it before I made the decision. I didn't make the decision. Okay. Well, it's I got dumped, but at the same time. <laughs> But at the same time, I'm like, I mean, I'm a coward. You're a coward? Yeah. Really? In a sense that I, ooh, dude, I don't know if I. I can always cut it out. It's your call. Y'all, this is what happens when you date content creators. So like, you should have known. Y'all. Okay, okay. Right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, you can say it right now. I can cut it out. It's up to you. Y'all, I, y'all are probably going to hear this, but I'm going to try to say this really nice. But mm-hmm. since I'm an avoidant attachment type. Yeah. 
a lot of the times <laughs> people are like, oh, you're going to self-sabotage. You know, you're not okay with vulnerability. You're not okay with someone being close to you. And a lot of the times you might self-sabotage something if you feel like you're values are sort of being pushed away if you feel like you're losing your sense of self yeah and a lot of the times i didn't want to be in the relationship anymore like prior to this breakup like months before mm -hmm. but i would just think like oh i'm just self-sabotaging like this is me self-defense like it's a self-defense mechanism mm -hmm. you know i'm turning into my dad like this is what he would do like i have a good relationship even though i'm sort of not feeling it it's actually me my coping mechanism and I should just Oh, so you're like you're kind of like putting it not you're not putting it on yourself, but you're like talking your way into it. Kind of. No, or talking your way into like, No no no. So it's like so it's, let's say like five months before the relationship ended. Yeah. I'd be like, Oh, I don't I don't really feel this. Mm -hmm. But then I'd be like, wow, actually it's just a coping mechanism for my avoidant attachment type. Yeah. So I'd be like, okay, I can't we can't break up because <laughs> I feel this way because it's my fault. So I can't put this I can't we can't break up. Does that make sense? I th I th I mean I think it sounds like like personally also you're talking to a delusionalist who is sick right now but like it sounds like you're you're just manip you're you're kind of gaslighting yourself into staying. Yeah, because I because you're like I have this it's so perfect it's it's on me. Yeah. When exactly. realistically when realistically yeah. when most relationships fail even if it's like on one person it's it is both sided. Even in my second relationship you know why that ended. Yeah. And y'all know why that and ended. And a long time viewers know why that ended as well. But as much as it was on her, it's also my fault too. You know? Yeah. Like part of that was on me. I should like but it's I should have thought more about it. But it's also you're allowed to be incompatible with somebody eventually. In this my my case. Yeah. And it's nobody's fault. We kind of just became incompatible. Yeah. But in my head, if I, cause I think I give really good advice for people, but I can't take my own advice. Dude, that's everyone. Yeah. Dude, everyone, no, dude, in, the, in the dating, in the dating episode, in the dude. welcome to the dating scene episode was like, oh my God, Nico, Nico has such good dating advice. How do you not have a girlfriend? I'm like, coaches don't play, coaches brother. Don't play. Coaches don't play, brother. No, cause like, I can't take my own advice. I think it's time. I think, I think put the fucking mirror on yourself, bro. Looking in the mirror. Is that how you say it? Man mirror? In the fucking mirror. Is that how you say it? Mirror? Mirror. Mirror. Yeah. I can't say it. Cause like, for example, you know how my advice, I'm always like, okay, think of yourself in a movie. And you're Timothy you're played, Chalamet. You're Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. I'm you told by, me that. You told me that. Who's my guy? I'm played by um Bobby Lee. Okay. Bobby Lee. Okay. <laughs> so Bobby, Bobby Lee. And I'm thinking like, I'm watching my life in the movie. <laughs> Who am I siding with? Whose yeah. decisions am I thinking is rational or not? And if I really did that test on myself genuinely, I think I would have left the relationship earlier. I'm I was just in a place where I was so uncomfortable with even feeling anything that I didn't even want to feel that. I didn't want first, I didn't want to go through a breakup. I didn't want to feel the breakup. I didn't want to feel like even any reflection. Yeah. Which held me in this relationship for super long. And I'm not the, the relationship was good. Like it was a good relationship. It just wasn't what could have been anymore because we sort of just stopped. I mean, dude, right, right now, how old are we? Twenty one. Exactly. When you're uh, when you're like that, when you're this young, you kind of change the most. I change so. I mean, much. like obviously, forty and fifty year olds have a lot of potential to still change, yeah. but it's I think less significant than when you're like twenty, yeah. right? And I think this especially applies to romantic relationships. You are constantly changing so much. And it's really hard to find long-term relationships when you're younger because yeah. you change so much. This applied to one of my relationships. We just were so different by the end of yeah. it. Like but it was fucking unreal. We were in denial about it for a bit. Yeah, remember I told you with my first girlfriend, I fucking told this guy, I was like, I don't love her anymore, dude. Yeah. Fuck, I might cut that one out. But like, yeah. And then, and this was like, four months before we broke up i was like dude i yeah. kind of i don't love her that much anymore but why'd you stay because my first ever girlfriend we were friends for like three years before we started dating right yeah. and we dated for about a year mm -hmm. um it was like around there and um i wanted to be really sure about it because i'm not just throwing away know, literally a one-year relationship i'm throwing away a friendship of three years as well yeah. that's a long fucking time and also she's my neighbor I need to be sure about it, <laughs> you know? I need to be fucking sure and, about it. And your uh, dentist daughter. Yeah, exactly, so right? So they could fuck up your enamel and shit. Yeah, they could, like, do me wrong on purpose. Yeah. Just, like, fucking punishment or something. Mm -hmm. And um, I was, I need to be so sure about it. And I thought about it for months, right? 
And then I feel like, uh, let me know if this applies to you or not. But from that moment, I was like, yeah, I don't really love her anymore. I already had a foot out the door and it kind of made me resent her a little bit. And Dude, that was on you. Dude, literally. And, and then you fucked up even harder because you had kind of frustration, almost borderline anger, not at this person, but at this relationship and the fact that you're staying in it. Yeah. Right. That's something that I had to learn when I was 19, when I went through my first breakup. Yeah. Uh, I think I was 19 or 20. I don't know how old I was. Um, when you were 19, dude. Was I 19? Mm. And I don't know. I was 19 or I, Yeah, you were 19. Um, and, um, I, you know, I had to learn this. Yeah. And then I think you're learning it right now as well. Like, if But the you, thing is, you learned it. So why why couldn't I have learned it? You know, because I didn't tell you, I didn't let you in on the secret until now. Nah, Sorry, you fucker, bro. dude. So, this guy well, gate cab. No lie. Can I be? Can I be straight yeah. with you right now, dog? Like, I kind of thought that like you guys were good. That's because I, and this is something that I want to work on. Yeah, I don't tell you anything, dude. Yeah, and I know you guys are probably like, what? But I really do struggle with emotional vulnerability, and that applied to my relationship, which kind of sucked. But mm -hmm. it also applies to my friendships. Um, I just wouldn't have told you that. Guys, you want to know something funny? Y'all want to know something funny? Oh, fuck. I found, I figured <laughs> out that Derek and his girlfriend broke up before Derek told me. I figured it out, yo. And dude, you know, and the truth is... And I wasn't even trying. Like, I figured it out, yo. And the truth is... And I don't want this to be like this anymore. Yeah. And I'm saying this now, like, I don't want this to be like this anymore. Mm -hmm. But I would not have told you for, like, two weeks. Like, yeah. I straight up would have just acted like nothing happened and mm -hmm. that's so bad and the thing is this wasn't long ago it's like because to me being emotional is cringe it's weak but it's not though like it's not suppressing emotion suppressing emotion is not, is not gas. gas it's not gas holy shit it's not yo get ryan ing in here ryan suppressing emotion is yeah, not gas it, i mean it, it, it's yeah it's not gas it's not gas to suppress it it's like what type of friend am, well it's also like what type of friend am i if i don't tell you well i think Maybe this is because I'm very used to it of like you, you not telling me a lot of stuff, but it's like, I want you to deal with something in the best way that works best for you. Right. And if dealing with it is kind of shutting the fuck up for two weeks, processing it and then coming to me about it when you're ready, that works. If it works for you, it works for me. It works this much, but I swear something could work this much. Okay, well, maybe Insta coming to me next. Like, I mean, it's not like you're getting better at this. Today, you told me stuff about your life. We were like, yeah, this is like what's going on right now. And I was like, yo, thanks for letting, let me, letting me in on that. Like, I think, I mean, this happened recently. But I, I, I mean, obviously, we thought of this episode idea and I had to yeah. reflect. Yeah. But, I mean, one of my <clears throat> goals this year <clears throat> that I didn't do in the news resolution, but I'm saying it now you can make a new it's we're not we're still in january yeah, bro not fucking new wait when is this coming out will this come out while we're still in january maybe who knows yeah it's in like four days oh my god wait yeah it is i want to be more vulnerable with the people in my life okay like because so you want to you want to you want to let those emotions flow now you don't want to suppress them anymore because, okay. guys this is character development okay. at its fucking finest okay, bro this. This. okay 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 really okay okay one of the worst okay so suppressing emotions what is that what is suppressing emotions? suppressing emotion is being numb to something yeah. it's not feeling it i so as a kid mm -hmm. i think a lot of just stuff traumatized me and when I, daddy when daddy jumped when, when daddy would go like boo you fucking no doctor not a doctor lawyer uh, practice fuck. your piano and then he and he just kills himself like you didn't even say sorry bro like say yeah. sorry first big bro mm -hmm. right that's mm -hmm. what i would do personally yeah and then it's crazy dude what, what that's crazy i take that one back i'm sorry about that one fool Yo. i'm sorry about that one Yo. and you got it because he was like five seven so it wasn't that loud oh yeah it was, it was like a tiny splat yeah, yeah nice. so then i mean i had a really dude, it's like it's like, it's like, it's like oh wait did someone drop jam <laughs> dude my, my, fault, my fault my fault my fault my fault Yo, <laughs> the thing is, it's like okay so that happens and it's like my childhood wasn't bad compared to a lot of other stories yeah i think the problem was i was 12 and that happened mm -hmm. and i wasn't parented anymore because yeah. my mom was also dealing with that of course and it's not her fault like 
if she would have been the goat if she still parented me but i didn't let her Mm -hmm. like i remember telling oh my god this is sad but i would just tell her to shut the fuck up all the time like she'd be like are you hungry shut the fuck up mom like i was that kid give me fucking v bucks bitch you feel regret about that yeah dude every day bro why don't you say sorry to her we talked about this before you can't apologize like i'd rather break my arm Oh, that means you, yeah, you really don't want to do it then. You really don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. Yeah. Like, I'd rather break an arm. Like, (laughs) fuck me. I can't even, like, yeah. That's why I had to stop smoking weed. Because you got too upset about it. You thought about it too much. about it. Yeah. Um, But, sort of, I didn't get parented and I had a lot of emotion. And from a young age, I sort of just started listening to, like, a bunch of punk music, emo music, playing Roblox, being racist. You know, that was a big one. Yeah. That's how I suppressed a lot of emotion was just straight up just bullying people on the internet. Um, I was like, I get why bullies do bullying now, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, you it, were the bad. bully. You were the bully, yeah. yeah. And then growing up, I mean, as a man as well, you don't do a lot of vulnerability with your guy friends growing up. Mm-hmm. So like, I literally didn't have a vulnerable moment for like nine years, bro. Yeah. Like imagine not beating for nine years. And then holy s- shit, the floodgates. The floodgates. It's gonna be mega cum. Mega cum. Right? Yeah. But in this case, it's just uncomfortable, mm-hmm. like to do because you can't even get erect anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I have erectile dysfunction, but in, in your my, emotions, in my emotions. Mm-hmm. So now I'm old, and I'm like, well, I'm not old. I got a burp, and I get into this serious relationship, and I just like fucking don't feel anything as much as. I just, I, I, it's not that I didn't love her, mm-hmm. but this, the love I felt, I know that it was not the love that everybody else feels. You feel like it was kind of lesser or was it a it different was kind of so love? so much less. Yeah. And it was like my maximum at the time. Mm-hmm. It's like when, um, you have ED, right? Yeah. And, and then you, you can get like half, yeah. you can get a half. It's not yeah. your fault. Yeah. You know, it was just the extreme. You got, had, you had a stressful day at work. Yeah. You know? The yeah. boss be riding you recently. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You can't even get fucking hard these days. Yeah. You know? And then your wife leaves you. Yeah. And then you're like, what the fuck? And then I, she takes the kids. Just because your boss was riding you literally. and you couldn't get a boner. <laughs> literally. That's how it all starts, dude. And then like, what? She leaves you and she's like, oh, it's because you're bed bugs. Like, why are you blaming my bed bugs? And you know what's ironic? What's the bed bugs drive everybody out your fucking life. And who, you know who's ironically <laughs> there at the end of the from? day? You know who's ironically there at the end of the day? The bed the bugs. Bed bugs Where is this from? Is this from the King of Staten Island? Where is this from? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. <laughs> but, so like, I just suppress negative emotions, right? Yeah. Anytime I feel sad, I'm like, no, I can't do this. I don't want to feel this. Mm-hmm. But it starts like going into positive emotions so you can't even feel like happy that much no like just flatlined and i i don't know and then it's like there's a lot of mental health resources it's like am i depressed am i do i have this do i have that and i don't know what i have because i'm so flatlined emotionally and i have gotten so much better since we broke up like holy shit Mm -hmm. like i feel excitement and stuff a little bit now and it's like wow i've really been missing out on this the whole time and it's not her fault it's my fault yeah. But as the relationship went on and there was more deep connection, I just started, I, I couldn't do it. Like mm-hmm. I couldn't do that deep connection. It was too vulnerable to me because vulnerability is also emotional. And I just couldn't even do emotion. I suppressed so much emotion that I couldn't even do simple emotion. Like anymore. you just couldn't even feel like, yeah. oh, hey, I just broke my arm. Okay. I guess I have to go to the hospital then. Instead of, ow, fuck my fucking arm. Well, I would feel physical. Yeah, but like emotional yeah, arm breaking. Exactly. You know? And it's like, it was not functional in the relationship. And it's I don't want to do that anymore because <coughs> I understand that my life could be this good. And I thought that mindset was correct. I thought that if you were emotional, oh my God. Okay, I thought that since I was so like femme- and like such like a, a feminine person open with my like and i have androge androge yeah i'm androge <laughs> yeah and i have like female friends and i'm like an ally and mm-hmm. i and people really think that i'm a good person that i can't really have masculine upbringing you know because being like suppressing your emotions is a big masculine thing and i thought that like oh i'm so family like, i can't be me yeah but that's literally me for real bro <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I, 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 I can see what you're coming from. Like, 
Well, you just suppress something so hard yeah. and you try to get rid of the negative. It also gets rid of the positive. And then I like the term you use like flatline. You kind of just flatline into like this literally like bot. Yeah. I of, was a bot. You were a bot. Yeah. And then it's like, I want to say I love this person, mm -hmm. but I don't think I did because it's my fault. I just didn't let myself feel anything. And as the relationship went on, I didn't let myself <laughs> feel it at all and then you know when you're a year in and you're like incapable of vulnerability and buying flowers is cringe and sending good morning is still cringe to you it's like objectively it's not yeah i know objectively yeah. it's not that is not cringe like, dude if i get a good morning text i'm giddy bro dude, i sent good morning the other day big bro and it was for you right giddy no <laughs> no it was not cringe i mean yeah yeah so it's like my cat's so mad that she got locked upstairs. Fuck. But it's like, those are objectively not cringe things. Everybody does them. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't do them. And I pressed these boundaries of, you know, give me my space. I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to say good morning. I don't want to tell you how much I love you. I don't want to give you words of affirmation. Yeah. Because I thought it was embarrassing. And Everybody out there is like, oh my God, Derek, you're the biggest red flag. <laughs> I know, man. I know, but Jeez. I don't want to be anymore. I don't want to be anymore. Okay, well, so you're just recognizing the mistakes you made. But you, it's not even that you caused these mistakes to happen. It's just like, damn, I was brought, I was kind of raised this way on purpose or by accident. And now we're, you're dealing with the aftermath. It wasn't even your fault, but you're still dealing with the aftermath of yep. it, right? Yeah. Well, it's good. It's Dude, it's good that you're learning this now. I remember you told me, yeah. you talked to your mom. Yeah. And then your mom was like, you're going to have like nine more of these. And it's good that you found out you're like your dad now. Cause your dad never found out he was, you were, he was yeah. kind of different. You know what right? they say? Like father, like son, you mm -hmm. know, the apples don't fall far from the tree. Yeah. That's one of my greatest fears. <laughs> oh yeah. No, that my fear is true right now. Y'all it's, it's come true. Like the fears come true. Like, are you, yeah. or did you, have you turned into him or like, what is it? Well, I mean, my dad was like a bot dude. But yeah. I, I mean, this is the case with a lot of like older middle middle age. Like, what's middle age? What is middle age? Um, middle age is like forty five. Yeah, there's a. I feel like every middle aged Asian person is just fucked in the brain. They're just suppressing. Yeah. They're probably just so traumatized because that's a traumatizing place to grow up. Yeah. Um, and those values, those traditional values that they're placed. Like and dude, like my, my mom, like escaped the country. Like yeah. you're gonna be kind of fucked for life, right? Yeah. So I think everybody's like every four, a middle aged Asian man is like that. So it's not necessarily my dad's fault, mm -hmm. but it was kind of on the culture, right? Yes, but it's my responsibility, and I didn't realize that because yeah. I thought I was just like, oh, like this is placed on me. Like it's not my fault. This is stupid, but it's my responsibility to make my life better, to make people's lives better around me, because I'm undateable. All right. Yeah. Like right now, I'm I'm undateable. And I, it's my responsibility to change that and not expect someone to just accept me for who I am. I have to do that digging because then I'll fucking <coughs> lose like a lot of happiness, wife, bro. Well, you're going to lose a lot of happiness yeah. if you don't figure this out. Or potential you know? happiness. Yeah. My dad, I mean, my dad and my mom would argue all the time. Yeah, right. But like my parents. But dude. like, you know, when like you kind of have an inkling on like who's valid and who's not because you're listening. <laughs> yeah. Because you basically I, you would listen when they first start. It's like, oh my god, this is like the hundredth time. I'm gonna just listen to music. Mm -hmm. but like when I could just tell that like my dad was sort of in the wrong. Yeah. I don't I, I don't necessarily have any examples, but I was a kid and I just had that feeling. I dude, I feel like kids are smart. Yeah. Like I think they're like sometimes smarter like than the average human kids. Like I don't think they can pick stuff up. I don't think they've cut off the part of their brain yet that feels and you can feel the intent of something a lot of the time. Like when I was a kid, I kind of knew if someone was cracked out even if they look normal because you can feel the intent of like yeah. what that person's intentions are you know yeah. what i mean yeah so like you wouldn't get into a white van i wouldn't just because i knew like i know yeah. like even though this looks like a kind young man turns out he's jeffrey epstein yeah, bro and he was trying I to take me I to feel, the island i feel like i would have yeah i would have. like kids are that. smarter than i think people realize yeah they can pick up on shit well also like animals like my cat just knows like i mean like has like my schedule in her head like she knows when i wake up and like she knows stuff. when i come over yeah like she's getting moved upstairs exactly. so she There's gets that pissed. connection yeah yeah so, but then so i'm like okay because i've asked my mom if my dad had autism before and that's like a funny story i've <laughs> talked about this a lot but he, you know he was just had autistic things like not wearing shorts in the swimming pools being yeah naked. or like getting mad at the bus driver 
Dude. My dad got banned from Yellow Taxi in Vancouver because he would just get so fucking mad at them that he literally got banned from taxis, bro. I don't know how you do that. I would have to try yeah. so hard to and get banned from taxis. he would always get taxi. mad at bus drivers, dude. That's weird, dude. Yeah. That's objectively really so it's like weird. like irrationally mad. And then I asked my mom, like, so like, did he have any stories where he would mistreat you? Or like... Oh, shit. You know? Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not Chris Brown. We call him wife pleasers now. You know, mm-hmm. I want to please my wife. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes I can acknowledge like since i was so avoidant of emotion if she was like i had a bad day i'd be like shut up bitch like no i wouldn't say yeah, that yeah 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 metaphorically i'd be yeah. like shut your bitch ass up mm-hmm. i mean dude like these kind of mistakes that you made i know that you said that you're not really thinking about that relationship anymore but you're gonna think about those mistakes yeah I do. there isn't a day that goes by even years later it's been years yeah. there is not a day that goes by that i don't think about the mistakes i made in every relationship I've been in, how serious it's been or how serious it hasn't been. Yeah. There isn't a day that will go by that you won't think about these mistakes. I promise you. But the fact that you're realizing this now and the fact that you're talking about it shows your journey to correct these mistakes. You know how many people will live life not realizing their humongous fuck-ups? Mm-hmm. A lot of fucking people. Yeah. Like, dude, I fucked up bad sometimes. Like, yeah. you, like I fucked up bad, yeah. bro. And it just... Well, it's nice to be like, oh, I'm getting... Because, but when you sort of realize that you fucked up and you're like, I can't do this again, doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Like, it just sucks that you had to make the mistake in the first place. Yeah, and that... You know? But I don't feel necessarily guilt. Like, I yes, there's guilt, but... Yeah. At the same time... Because <coughs> I feel guilt. I'm fulfilled with my journey right now. But if I do think about it, I'm like, yeah, like that... I wish I'd had been you just didn't want to make another person feel bad yeah you know especially somebody that would have never done that to me fuck right yeah that's it's crazy like, actually that's literally like so fucking branded of me like fuck fucking bullshit fuck shit. i mean dude 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 the, like like you can't you're gonna make i promise you i promise you dude i know you're gonna make so many more mistakes just yeah. like your mom said you're gonna have this happen nine more dude, fucking literally, times so right i'm just like okay mom what did dad do so there was a story where like um my mom like dropped the bus ticket or something yeah and they were just like my mom was like okay let's just go get a taxi and i was there i was a kid yeah and like i i was like really cold or something and my mom lost the bus ticket so we can get on the bus and then we were like okay let's just get a ta-. well my mom was like let's get a taxi and my dad was like no like, you dropped the fucking bus ticket he was so mad and like he in order to punish her he made it so we had to take the bus again like he forced us to wait like another 40 minutes for the bus because this is not Vancouver bus, you know, it's oh, China, it's China bus. bus. That so bus like, never you comes. Can't take, you can't take the cab. You have to take the bus. And then he, to punish us, um, we had to take the bus again. Yeah. And just small stuff like that. Or like when my mom went to buy floss and she bought one floss instead of two because she thought they would just share. He was like, why did you only buy one floss? Also like, buying one floss for a couple is pretty common, dude. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So- it's just these irrational things that you'd be upset about. Like I would be upset like when my autonomy I felt like was infringed on because it, to me, it's vulnerable to share myself with somebody just in general. It yeah. is. But when I feel like I lose my free will, I get, I turn into my dad. So that's sort of like a free will thing, right? We weren't, we weren't allowed on the bus. So he got mad because his free will was taken away from my mom because she dropped the card. Mm-hmm. So this is sort of like similar to me, like my free will, if it was challenged, I would just be so upset about it. And I, in order to, and since I'm a suppressor, I would just like sh- shut up and just not talk to her or something like that. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, well, it's better than like beating the shit out of her, I guess. But like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it's Objectively. Good, yeah. But it's like not good to do mm-hmm. that. That's shutting your partner out is so bad. Yeah. And I can't do that. I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. And it's so so like it's giving joseph vibes like it, that, that's your dad that's Derek's dad's name that's for context joseph vibes. it's dude you're give, giving j vibes right i don't want to give weird. j yeah like, you can't give j you gotta give d i want to give p you gotta give well, p no he's fucked too you know just make your own dude okay i feel like this applies to you as well um when you were growing up did you ever see a what a healthy romantic relationship looked like like, I'm going to answer this for you. It's it's no, no right? No. Yeah. And like that applies to me as well. When I think about me as a child, yeah. 
my mom says to me all the time she's like dude you were the fucking happiest kid ever and i was like no lie i wish i i wish i remembered that because when i look back yeah. at my childhood i just remember my parents yelling at each other that's all i remember i just remember them mm. fight obviously i remember other things like me throwing up a lot which now carried into one of my yeah. biggest fears today right mm -hmm. but the main thing i remember about my childhood is either my parents yelling at one another or me being yelled at. You think it's right? because kids just like remember bad stuff a lot more? Or do you think it's because you were never like, you didn't have a lot of happy moments? I think like, when you're four, I think I was objectively a happier kid. Yeah. But when you're around the years of four or five, that's when your brain kind of starts to form. Yeah. And that's when your memory starts to kick in. Do you remember when you were two? No. Nope. Probably fucking not. But you remember when you were like three or four? Because I don't, right? I, I just wish I remembered sucking on like my mom's titty. Why do you want to remember that? Because I will never get to do it again. You can suck on a titty. Just no milk will come out, but you can suck on a titty. You can suck on a titty if you want. Maybe it probably hits. Probably hits better now. It's probably fucking it's way better now than when you're a kid. I'm just telling you that. But like, like that's all I that's all I fucking remember, right? So then I didn't get to see what a happy. I didn't get to see what a good romantic relationship looked like. So then when you get into one. You're like, oh, fuck, I don't know what this is supposed to look like. And then you fuck up and you fuck it's, up bad. It's sort of like, I know what it's not supposed to look like. Yeah, but, but then like, you still make it look like that. Yeah. And then you make mistakes after mistake after mistake. And you don't realize it's a mistake. Well, until, for me, yeah. I didn't realize I was making mistakes until we broke up. And then I had time away from the relationship to be like, wow, big mistakes, big bruh. That's... So I, I I told my mom that actually, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Yeah, no, like that's what your dad used to do." But luckily, you're 21. Your dad was 40. And he, he, was doing, he never figured it out. He yeah, never figured he it never out. Figured it out. Whereas me, I have so much support, and I've I'm a pretty self aware person. I want to say, and I have resources and mental health, and just there's so many resources in there. It's normalized now, right? Right. And, I have it so much better than him. And that's how I know I won't actually be him because I know so much, we make so many things like, oh, I'm going to be like my dad. But yeah. I know I won't be him because I don't want to be him so bad. And I know that. And there's so many resources and I'm so fulfilled right now just trying to work on myself that I know I won't be him. But thinking about the moments is fucking like really digging at me, dude. Yeah, it, it's going to fuck you up. Yeah, it's not, like right it's not now. Because I don't, I don't even think about that. Like I still suppress those a little bit. Dude, it's. I think. I mean, now. Well, now you're coming out yeah. of the suppression period, and yeah. I think that's really good at feeling it, right? Yeah. Because it's not like, dude. Let's be real. You're not gonna like. Obviously, I'm not expecting you to date someone right now, but it's not like you're gonna go a year, two years, five years without seeing anyone romantically. Well, that's is, not possible. I want to be in love like really bad right now. Holy shit fuck what the f yeah and i i normally are you I in love with me said that are you in love with me well you know different kind of love it doesn't i'm not, I, okay, I'm not I'm hurting be bro. cringe now okay <laughs> oh my god are you gonna be cringe yeah okay but you guys are gonna be proud of me okay be, but this is a big step for derek because i like I, I find it hard to be vulnerable with men actually I think that's years and years and years of media stereotypes and like other yeah. shit coming our, are coming our way. I don't think like based on your dad, you don't want to be like him, right? Yeah. No way. You kind of have to, I think both of us, we didn't grow up with a, this is going to sound cringe, but a positive role, a male role cringe. model. We didn't grow up with a- We keep saying this is going to sound cringe, but yeah, But it's just like normal shit. Actually yeah thinking it's cringe we, we just think it's cringe. cringe yeah but we this is gonna sound cringe once again ah. but you know we didn't go with a positive role role male role model yeah. we really didn't yeah. right so then i think we kind of had to trailblaze what kind of man we wanted to be exactly and you saw me in high school even yeah. right like i wasn't a dominant male i've always been kind of was it yang or ying which one is it beta <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've always been kind of a beta pussy Always, I've always gone out, I've kind of had a more gentle energy to things. Yeah. Despite me it's being, yeah, despite me being very, um, like, in your faceness, yeah. 
I think the reason why that worked when I was in high school was because I had a really gentle undertone to my energy, yeah. right? And I kind of got teased for that. I remember back when I what? was like, when I was 10 years old, I used to get called gay every day, bro. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm sure you got called gay as well, bro. Those lips of yours, surely <laughs> getting called gay, dude. I actually didn't get called gay that much. I got called I gay. I got called gay more when I was 19. I get called gay more. And actually, I yeah. still get called gay all the time. We didn't call gay now was vibes. Now it's gas. We didn't call gay before was when not. It, yeah. Like, no, because we, me and Derek grew up in like the 2000s. Yeah. You know, if you got called gay during the 2000s, bro, you're going to want to go like that with your hair, by the way. That's crazy. I'm wearing a toque right now because I need a haircut, but I just want to help you out, bro. Yeah, sometimes uh, it doesn't land nice. The hair yeah. or the gay? <laughs> well, the hair. Well, but yeah, okay, but oh, yeah. The, yeah. So then I kind of you. I feel like this applies to you. You're gonna you you are doing this, but you are also gonna have to ask yourself like, what kind of man do I want to be? You know, yeah. like what kind of guy do you want to be? And this is gonna sound cringe, but objectively, it's not. What kind of man do you want to be in a romantic relationship? A you good didn't. Man. You didn't get to see. No, but you don't know what that is like. Yeah, I know. I'm sure even in your relationship, your last relationship, you wanted to be a good man. Who doesn't want to be? Yeah. But clearly you fucked up a little bit, G. I'm going to be real with you, right? Right? Clearly you fucked up. Yeah. I don't think, and this applies to me as well, I don't know what a good man looks like. You know? Yeah. You have to trailblaze that was for yourself. Bullshit. It is. Yeah. And you have to figure that out. It's going to take you trial and error, and you're not going to get it right even when you're 40. You know? Well... Hopefully, Whoa, hopefully, that's a long time. If you don't get right by your forty, you can kill you yourself like your dad. Believe me, I believe in you. Forty, I believe in you, bro. But you have a long ways to go. But twenty years is. Broken. What if you fall into a coma for a decade where you're not thinking about the future? Yeah, come on. What if dude. you fall into a coma and you forty? If okay, I okay, thirty, if, thirty, dude, 25, if 25. If I'm not healed by forty. Just kill me, bro. Okay, that, maybe right. that's why he did it. Because yeah, because he was just he like, was like, oh my god, dude. yeah, he 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 couldn't heal. Well, what man do you want to be? I have to find that out for myself. Like right now, you. Well, I have to figure that out. I think I have I'm a gonna, general, like... Well, yeah, yeah, like, it's a general sense, but that could change over the years. Yeah. Even r things that I did in my most recent relationship, that wasn't even... It was actually long ago. It was, like, six months ago. Yeah. But, like, I was like, wow, why did I do that? Yeah. Like, that was fucking really brain dead of me. Yeah. Why did I do that? And that wasn't even that long ago, right? You're going to constantly keep evolving, and you have to ask yourself, like, you don't want to be like your dad. You don't know what it looks like to be a positive rail... rail what the fuck? You don't know what it looks like to be a positive Real. male role model. Yeah. You're going to have to figure that out for yourself, big guy. I think also... I just had this memory, but... What was I going to say, dude? You just had this memory. Well, there's just a lot of shit going on in my brain right now. I mean, okay, so I think I have a general idea of like who I want to be. Mm-hmm. That's because I'm so far off that like you can only go a certain <laughs> way right now. Yeah. But in romantic relationships, I want to be more loving. I want to be in love. Like, yeah. Do you know what, do you know what that feels like yet? Hindsight, I wasn't that in love. Yeah, I know. Hindsight, right? Yeah. But at the time you thought you were. I thought that was what was it, but. I thought that was max. But I know there was. Now, after post like reflection and post breakup, I know there's higher levels to that that I want to be in with somebody. Yeah, and I know there's people that feel that, and I want that. <laughs> and I've been watching a lot of like rom coms, mm -hmm. like you know. Yeah, I know you've been watching. You've been on your rom com grind. Like, you've been studying. You've been taking you notes. You said this too. Yeah, but five hundred days of summer. No, ten things I hate about you. Good movie, but. That makes me want to like fall in love. Yeah, I mean the romanticization in romance movies it makes you it makes you want to fall in love because it looks so fun, right? Yeah, and obviously I'm not gonna go flash my titties in a, like a class to get you out of the tension. Yeah, but it's the concept of like falling in love with somebody that I want to try again. And am I ready? Or if I'm not, I don't know. But I think I'm really willing to put the effort in when the time comes to be better with a person that i want to fall in love with and i want to be in love because dude all these rom-coms they got me like oh my god that's so cute like yeah. i used to hate rom-coms i used to think rom-coms are cringe and in how i met your mother i used to think robin was right i used to think robin was the only way to think damn you think like robin yeah robin is just the avoidant character like oh mm -hmm. like, you used to agree with her yeah she was just like oh i don't want kids i don't want to fall in love you know this is too cringe like yeah i don't even want to dress up with you on halloween mm -hmm. i literally did that i didn't want to dress up in house with her 
on Halloween because I thought it was cringe. It was just mm. too vulnerable to me. And it's so cringe that I thought that way. But Robin is like that character. And I yeah. thought that was the only way to live. I thought if you were Marshall and Lily, who's bas- basically the perfect relationship, who's basically who everybody wants to be. Well, M- Marshall and Lily, if you haven't watched How I Met Your Mother, sorry, you're gonna be lost as fuck. Yeah. But Marshall and Lily had a super codependent relationship. They couldn't do anything without each other. And like, that's not good either. Yeah, it's not good. You have to find a balance. And everyone likes different kind of relationships. You know, we know guys that like to text their girlfriend every hour because yeah. that's what works for that relationship. That doesn't work for me. And I don't know if that will work for well, you the either. The thing is, the reason I don't text every hour isn't because I don't actually want to not text every hour. It's because you think it's cringe? It's because I don't want you in my life that much. Like, it's more of like a, I have this bubble. I don't want anyone in. <laughs> Shit. And I think that my life would be better if I let someone in. Like, obviously, if we text all the time, I'm not going to have anything to say to you, right? Yeah. But mine's not even the texting thing. I wouldn't even dress up for Halloween. That's kind of, Well, that's too much. It's like, I, for me, I was I just didn't want someone in my bubble, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And Marsha and Lily, obviously, codependent, but that's everybody's, like, goals, like, relationship goals, right? Yeah. And now I'm watching I'm Your Mother, and I'm like, no lies. That seems so, so fun. fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like, my view has switched so much where I want to be this person I want to be better and I want to be in love and I want to feel these emotions and I want to be excited for things. You know, that was like one of the big things that I hated was I was so flatlined that I wasn't excited anymore for just life. And I thought I was depressed, but I think I just suppressed so much shit and I was unhappy in a relationship and I kept suppressing more and more of that, that I just became a bot. And now I'm like reawakened and I want to be better and i want to start with our friendships and stuff and like life is good i think can i tell you what would make life better what if i could pee okay <laughs> so, <laughs> back just cried in the bathroom just y'all. cried in the bathroom y'all uh-huh. you know that's why i'm coughing uh-huh. right now i just had a hard <laughs> cry y'all but i think something that i respect about you is i said this prior in this podcast 95 percent of the time it's not just on the one person right yeah. it's really not and i think that applies to all of my relationships mm-hmm. and i think that applies to all of your relationships as well yeah what i really respect about you is on and off camera you've never attacked no your ex before you've never been like this is what she's fucking done wrong this is i can tell you right now as a th- person looking at this from as a whole situation and not from your perspective i can see some parts that she fucked up bad on that you don't want to fuck up on and she fucked up on those parts you know um Wait, I'm gonna say it on the show, just out of respect for this person, because I do re- like I do respect this person. Like your ex was a friend of mine. She what? was at my birthday party. Yeah, dude. what are you? What is the? What are you referencing? I'm curious. Okay, well, cut this cut out. It, of the just cut it. Well, dude, like I mean, yeah, you guys didn't work for each other. No, not you know? at all. And I think we, I think I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, and I had to be taught this lesson mm-hmm. that if you are fundamentally wrong for each other, no matter how hard you try, you are fundamentally wrong. Yeah, you can't fit an orange in like this small of a hole mm-hmm. it's fundamentally not happening you were just packing too hard no i wasn't <laughs> talking about my <laughs> oh fine. i misread it i misread it i misread yo, it i misread 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 it i am not packing bro what's that i'm not packing either well packing is like no, pa- no but when i say i'm not packing i mean oh i have an iphone x for I- a penis i'm saying this right now mm-hmm. if you are friends with an asian guy and he claims to be packing Big bros lying. I mean, unless he's Jeremy Lin. Lying. No. What about Benedict Wong? Benedict Wong. Actually, Benedict Wong. Statistically, isn't they're lying. Right? Well, Asian people just have smaller penises because I think Asian women have smaller cervixes. Is that if that's the right word? I don't know, but I'm telling you right now. Any eight, because like you know, one like in high school, you, you'd be like, "How big are you guys?" I'd yeah. be like, eight, 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 eight inch, eight inch long. Yeah. No Asian guys in eight inch. It's just true, Sarah. I mean, statistically wise possible impossible like if you're truly. an asian guy with an eight inch you are like a dot no, no no you like have something else mixed in i mean i'm really glad i'm Asian. yeah you know if i was if, if i was full lao with five six yo, oh that'd be a tiny peen I, I would have a small i would have a i would have a dingaling yeah i would have a dingaling yeah. dude thank god i just have a i have a penis because there's yeah. dingaling then there's pee pee then there's penis 
Then there's dick. Then there's cock. Then there's schlong. Yeah, schlong is <laughs> schlong is max tier. Schlong is like gate capped by the Africans. Yeah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know some dude. What about some some of our friends? Some of our friends have the uh, one of our friends biggest dick I've ever seen. If you're, if you're watching, you know who you are. Yeah, that guy's dick is huge. I mean, it's it's really. I mean, it's too big. It's interesting because like being like small penis back in the day was like the play and now it's you have it was to the be, play back in the day yeah really so it's like we would have thrived i dude i would have been out there a demon dude people i would have been like uh who's that guy wukong or who's that guy that like we're technically related because of him oh genghis Khan. i would have been genghis, genghis dude genghis i would have been Khan, genghis yeah. but something i respect about you is not once on camera off camera you've gone after this person because she is like a good person yeah. I, i'm like I'm telling you, like, I've bleeped all the shit out now that that person did. Yeah. But, like, that, like, it was, it like, it might, may not have been a 50-50, but it was around there, dude. Well, nothing she did was inherently wrong like me. Like, some of the things I did was just wrong. But okay. nothing she did was wrong. It was sort of just unconventional, we could say. Okay. I mean, I think, I think, like, I agree with you to a certain, I think what... Your wrongs were objectively more wrong. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, some people... Because one of the bad things I did is <coughs> I suppressed my emotion, but I also s- strived to suppress hers as well. And she was a highly emotional person. Yeah. And she just... The more I tried to suppress her, the more emotional she would be. And she would have these emotional things, emotional outbursts, and I didn't want to deal with them. So, like, yeah, technically... Those uh, those outbursts were unconventional, but they weren't necessarily wrong because she couldn't decide how she felt. She just felt that way and it had to come out. Yeah. 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 If that makes sense. But you, 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 I think what reflects really well on you is that I don't talk shit. I don't is talk that shit. you don't talk shit. You kind of just, you've, even the first day you guys broke up when I figured it out, y'all. Yeah, you figured it out. And dude, you know what the funniest thing is? What? So I I knew you figured it out because you were posting a year-end beer sauce thing and she's yeah. going on beer sauce and the episodes yeah. are still up if you're curious. Also, I, guess. I mean, I... Yeah. So I'll say, I won't, I'll cut it out yeah. then. Okay, I'll cut it out. Like, what were we? What were you saying before that? Uh, you fucking did oh, yeah. go after, yeah. Well, so you you were posting a year end reflection, and she's been on the podcast, mm-hmm. so she was in the photo, yeah. And then you tried, I tried to tag her, yeah, and I fucking couldn't, and I was like, that's really weird. Why and can't I tag this her? This was literally like the day the it's like we broke up like twelve hours before the post, yeah. So the timing was just tough, yeah. Um, and then I so I tried to post it. I'm like, why can't I fucking post this? Then I checked I my personal account was like not blocked but i was yeah. like shadow banned from her or something i don't know what i but you posted it yeah before you saw me mm-hmm. without her so i knew you knew yeah and i was like yo i figured it and out. then you get in the car and you do this really funny thing and then because i pick you up and yeah. then you're like you good bro and then you're like, <laughs> and then you're like okay so like if, Wait, if this, this was the day we recorded uh which episode was it drunk therapy this is the day we recorded drunk therapy so there's a person or this is th- yeah. this i'm you and this is me right okay, here i'm in the car i'm in the car driving okay so, so no no no. you get in the car and yeah. you're and okay I, hey like you you good man <laughs> that's crazy like, well, you're trying to look at my eyes because dude your eyes were you were, were teary i'm not gonna lie there were yeah. there was tears like, in them I bro you're trying to look at my eyes there were and tears like, in and them. i was like this fucking guy there bro <laughs> and there were tears I, in you them. I was like bro this, why are you looking at my eyes bro <laughs> Because they were te- there was tears in them, yeah, bro. There were tears so. in them. I mean, are you still as like, are you still crying about it? You think? Or no, I haven't you- cried. In- well, I'm Damn really it. happy right now. Yeah. I don't know if I should cut this out, but I think I, I'm, I'm like ready to go talk. I'm like, <laughs> you know. Okay. I mean, I see what you're getting. At. I mean, the thing is, is like, um, I think I don't know if it'll hit you later. Dude, I don't people think it say will, it does though. and people say it applies to all guys it didn't hit me later i know that's the thing it didn't hit me and it's been so long it's not gonna hit you there's no fucking way unless it hits, hits me in like a year there's no fucking it's way. been so long right because and it didn't hit what what happened was um i i like obviously it, I, I was upset it's very upsetting yeah you know i cried how often 
uh, I think I had one big cry for each breakup I've been in. Just one? I've had, no, I've had one big cry, but then smaller like seshes. Like my, fir- my first one, like I smoked like three joints <laughs> for my first big, like, like, like of crying. I smoked crying joints. Oh, I thought you got high. And, no, and then I had like up. little seshes throughout the next couple of weeks. Oh. Right. I've cried over like both, you know, yeah. but I don't know where the fuck this, but then like after a bit, mm. I was really, I was not gleeful because I don't, that sounds it's, horrific. You, I was really yeah. glad. You're on this path now. I mean, it, like path. it crushes you. Yeah. Like you really feel um, like you can't breathe. And then all of a sudden this huge weight is lifted off you of, holy fuck, I don't have to deal with that anymore. Yeah. And that, that sounds awful, me saying that. Mm-hmm. Let me re, let me word that in a better way. Like it's like this weight taken off your chest. I mean, you're not wording it bad. Like it's kind of just that it's like a huge weight yeah. of that relationship. No, because the relationship gets heavy and it gets heavier and heavier to carry and, around. Uh, for me, it was subconsciously heavy. Yeah, like, I would wake. Up. I knew it was heavy, but I dealt like no lie. Like I couldn't. Like I, I'm very confident that I could spend like ten hours with you, and it still be pretty gas. Yeah. Could not spend ten hours with with the uh, yeah. It's just, like not gas. Yeah, I think. Well, the thing is, mine was like I subconsciously. Oof. I the day the days that we would hang out, I would just have bad days before it even started, <coughs> and I would con- compare and contrast like with you mm-hmm. or with other people, and this is so fucked up. Yeah. And it's not that I hated her; it's subconsciously I resented it a little bit. Yeah, just like being in a relationship that we weren't loving. That I so I'd compare and be like, oh, oh, I'm so much happier and I'm so much joyful with you, or like. When we hang out as friends, but then if I hang out with her, it's like, oh, I'm in a worse mood. But it's, it sounds really fucking bad. It sounds so bad. No, I get what you mean. But it's, I get what it's you mean. It's a subconscious resentment, is my point. It's it, not that it, she's not. Actively... It, no, it's not towards yes. that person. Yeah. It could have been anyone. It could have yeah. been anyone. You would have felt the same way. Exactly. Right? So then when I say these things, it sounds like I'm such a red flag, mm-hmm. but I'm. S- I took a lot of time. Like the first week or two, I was seshing, bro. I you were having your cry session. sessions. No, but I was seshing. But Actually seshing? No, no, no. Okay, okay. I was having my big cry sessions, but yeah. I would like think during the seshes. Like I was really, really, really putting in like the effort work. Yeah. to like get my mind together and be like, this is what I did wrong. This is what I can't do. So the next person that I love, I can do this right. And I... I seshed a lot for like the first two weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I couldn't even go outside because I would just be so emotional. Jeez. And this guy wasn't even here. This oh guy yeah. When, Cause when Derek broke up with his girlfriend, I really wanted to be here yeah. because I was like, you know, kind of, you know, like I kind of want to help bro out, but I think objectively, I let me know if I'm in the wrong, but I think that it was really good. Yeah. It, it ended up being really good that I wasn't here. Cause I think you could have, you, I think, we would have just done stuff and you would have distracted yourself. I think I really had nothing to do, nobody to talk to. Mm-hmm. And I figured, like, for the, the week you were gone, I figured a lot of my shit out. I really reflected. And I remember texting you like, yo, suppressing isn't that gas. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I would have had that realization as fast as I did if I, like, if you were there, like, distracting me. Yeah. And obviously, I did have some distractions. You know, I went to the movies a lot. Yeah. But I was still... Like you were in solitude. You went about. to the movie by yourself. Yeah. You know, like you're in your own head. The thing is, I know what I did wrong. And I know what I, I, I have a general clue of like what I want to catch myself doing. So the next relationship I'm in, I can really, really, really be like fulfilled. Can I tell you something really funny too? What? In your next relationship, you're gonna make brand new mistakes. I'm two for two on making brand new mistakes, yeah, bro. But, dude. But, the, but, the, but, the, but again, guess what? You're not gonna marry your second your your next relationship. Don't fucking say that. Well, who knows? Okay, let me just say this then. Good chance, good chance that you're not gonna marry them. It's like, how and then you, in your you know. next relationship, gonna make brand new mistakes as well, big bro. <laughs> no, but I, but it's like it, nothing can like if I fix these mistakes, I don't think anything can compare to how bad these were. Like, yeah, okay, well. You know, like it's only up for me. I think. Oh no, it's only up. It's your next mistakes will be minimal. Like you need to like clean up the your place or something. You know. Yeah, but like yeah, they're, they're, you're you're gonna get gradually better, but it's not gonna 
the next one isn't you're gonna this each relationship has its flaws yeah you're not gonna be great for the next one and also your partner might be batshit you don't know i think right? it'd be great okay well I, well i think i think i can and i don't know if i actually will be but i really well really i think, think you'll I be great be for dude six months ago i didn't think i made any mistakes exactly. and then you look back you're like oh what the fuck right you're gonna continue to evolve that's why i say oh last week i was like yeah and you always say like last week like like last week i was a pussy yeah because last week i genuinely like genuinely i was bro yeah because you're gonna keep realizing the mistakes you made i really think i can be a good boyfriend and i i I think you can and i think you will and one day i'm gonna get married and we're gonna re-listen to this and you'll be like what did i tell you nico like or or i might be like what did i tell you (laughs) (laughs) big mistake big Big mistake guy over here (laughs) but do you okay because you said that you don't want to you feel like you you told me this you said you can't apologize to your mom oh geez yeah no do you feel like you wanted you do you think fuck me do you want to apologize to this person for the mistakes on the mistakes you made on in that part of the relationship when i was when the breakup was fresher yeah yes like i was since i was really really thinking about it and i was in that non-suppression yeah moment where i was like i have to take all these feelings in right now and obviously the most emotional aspect is or the most emotional like the most emotional time is going to be at the start of the breakup so at that time yes i really 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 wanted to apologize like i even during the breakup, I was like even being cold. Like I was acting like a big dog. Like I don't care. I don't care. Right? <laughs> Bro's big dog was during big the breakup. Dogging. That's crazy. Because it's like an ego thing. I'm really insecure. Yeah, I think deep down, and I didn't really acknowledge that. I need to acknowledge my insecurities of like, what are you insecure about? Could I ask? Because dude, weak. dude, your dick is great for me. It's great for me. I, dick. You, boy, you have boyfriend dick. It's I great. When she was emotional and I'm not, throughout the year and a half, I subconsciously just started viewing her as more weak than me. <laughs> okay. Because in my head, if you were emotional, you were weak, and I'm scared to be seen as weak or not. That oh, okay, okay. So that's my insecurity that I projected which is so, so bad. And I would even, and this applies to re- <coughs> friendships too. And the, that's why, dude, I mean, Juno and I went on like dinners like recently and we talked about like relationship stuff. And that was so fulfilling to me. And if you're watching this, what up, though? What up, Juno? Like, so I've been sick. I haven't been able to see you for like the past two weeks, bro. I feel really bad, but I like, I was also I so sick. I let the squad down, y'all. I let the squad <laughs> down, y'all. But, like, dude, me. I felt so bad when I mixed Alex's birthday. I was sick, dude. But you were sick. You can't do anything. Fuck it. And like, what? You're going to go get give everybody the clap at Greta? That's true. I actually have a social responsibility not yeah. to go out if I was sick. Like, yeah. Dude, get him sick and then he... And then he misses school and then gets everyone sick. Exactly. It's just a... Yeah. yeah. But I like have... I mean, I've had those vulnerable conversations with Juno, and they're vulnerable to me. I wouldn't, I think a lot of people wouldn't count them as vulnerable, but I asked them, like, how's your relationship? Which is like a big thing for me. Like, we don't talk about vulnerable stuff. Yeah. And that made me realize that there's so much more fulfillment in relationships than, like, than what I used to have. Damn. Damn. It's like, yeah, even friendships too. Like, stopping the suppression in friendships is going to be just as good if not better and like it would even make my potential romantic relationship even better too like just not the non-suppression in every aspect of my life is going to make my life so much better and i understand that and we would just talk about like we talked about my breakup like what i fucked up on Mm -hmm. and we talked about like how i want to be better and i didn't really talk about that like at all with him or in general Mm -hmm. i would just think about it in my own head and talking to someone felt good and even <laughs> though it was so cringe and best no i was saying oh my god this is so cringe like every five seconds yeah but objectively it's not but cringe it's not cringe and it felt good to talk about it and that's what i want to start doing you know and even doing this we kept saying this was cringe but yeah. i want to be more vulnerable like with just everybody and you especially like it's uh, I'm gonna kill you, bro. <laughs> dude no because it's not cringe it's not i don't think it's cringe i don't think it's cringe because like I think I'm I think I'm more um like normie pilled than you yeah. when it comes to emotions. But when it comes from you, the god of non-emotion, I think it's <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, fuck bro. you bitch. Fuck like it's bad, right? 
like what if like, what if your what if your mom was like like i really missed you today oh i'd kill myself oh my god i'd be like no because we don't because dude we don't have great uh oh, yeah. connections with our parents you know like like i'd be like mom shut the fuck up dude i've said this on beer sauce before i hate writing my mom birthday cards yeah because it's the worst to like yeah it's like i it's like the worst yeah. to write my mom a birthday card and like write what i appreciate like oh my god like, I, yeah. I, like i'd rather break my fucking arm bro yeah. like it's the worst but thing i think dude. if i become vulnerable with my friendships in my next relationship i can it'll be an easier time practice on us then i know yeah like, like practice on me in the bed why in the bed though i'm not i don't know dude Okay. Just saying in the but bed. Like, I I, and I was just naming a location, dude. So if it's, I'm not, I'm not talking about being gay, dude. I'm talking oh. about being emotionally vulnerable. Oh, so I thought you were dude. talking about becoming a better lover physically, but no, now you mean emotionally. I'm a good sore. Lover. Oh, you're a good lover. I mean, I know that. I'm a good lover. Okay, my fault. I fucked up. Yeah. I fucked up. I misread it, dude. I misread it. You taste so good. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, do I sound sexy when I'm sick? Let me. Oh, my God, babe. You taste so good. Is that sexy? dude i feel bad for the audio listeners right now <laughs> table for four why four double date oh okay dude our double date was fun remember our double date when i was with uh when i was Gabagoo. we Escape went room yeah that was fun yeah, that was, was a good time fun. that was a fun time dude, dude. What, yeah we're gonna have double dates again on stardew valley <laughs> dude <laughs> double <laughs> date on star do you know what's really funny what when you meet the person's when i'm because you like when i've met all your girlfriends like it's just like funny like when you met Gabagoo. yeah what was that like for you it was just weird well when you met both of my girlfriends it's what was it like it's weird because i see you as my best friend yeah and you're intimate with this person but i have met them for the first time but you're intimate with them and this is a stranger to me so it's yeah. like what the fuck this is kind of weird yeah huh? That's it's I, weird yeah. it's really weird it's like universes colliding and it's like it, it has a good it's like sometimes uncomfortable yeah because i think both of my girlfriends like i don't think like they they we you guys weren't it, it, and and you tried your best but they just were not responding to my vibes to the vibes well, i give weird vibes sometimes. well i think we create a, a vibey a, we create a vibey I space think a lot of girls are really shy yeah but well some the girls i've dated yeah and I wanted to kind of change that. I mean, my, the second girl I dated actually was not. Mm -hmm. she, she was really intimidated by you because um, I, 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 when we started I going out, that. when we started going out, she listened to a couple episodes of Beer Sauce, and I had a rule with her uh, where I was like, "You gotta implement the rule." I, I, dude, you gotta implement the rule with every girl you date because yeah. it's like, dude, they have they can find out everything about you. I, I want know. you to find it out through me. You exactly. know. Um. So we had a rule where, like, every month, if I feel like I knew enough about her, I would let her listen to an episode. Oh. you know so then um I, she listened to like four maybe mm -hmm. she's like dude derek sounds so intimidating bro and really she's like i low-key have a crush on him and i was no, I no. Say that. She no. Say that. she didn't say that she didn't say that would you kill yourself no i'd be like same <laughs> 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 um but like she was just really intimidated by you but what about it is intimidating you i my, think my, my voice your voice your looks mm. the things you say i think you have a very clear um, you you have a very clear like you, you like no bullshit get to the point kind of I have a very talking style confident <laughs> even if you're wrong you say it yeah confident you I'm know very confident like have it my way yeah style which is very comboed with your looks and your style yeah it comes across very intimidating yeah I could see that if I didn't know you and I looked across uh, like looked at you like across the street you I'd be like fight me I would be like holy shit like i gotta hide my girl bro because <laughs> he's gonna come snatch yeah you know what i mean I think i'm just so confident in the i don't want to say the word mm -hmm. i'm like kind of alpha right <laughs> <laughs> no not really bro what dude look like at the way, the way you're sitting dude no, you have a gaping hole asking to be fucked right now look at the way you're sitting dude look at that oh my god come for him everyone that's crazy Ew. dude. Wait, could i ask you a question what did you think i could pull the second girl i dated or not no <laughs> yeah i couldn't I, that was crazy huh did you, did you think i had potential did yes you, no but okay. no but it's like could pete davidson pull kim k no, no is but he, he did. funny yes oh because i'm so funny so the thing is when you saw her were you like oh there's no shot i think there was i think if there was going to be no shot it'd be 
initially because once yeah. she met you and realized how funny you were because i'm hilarious and how warm you are i'm hilarious bro see that was hard to say like how warm you are like that to me was like why am i complimenting this guy it's so gross like, <laughs> see it's that's so normal you said it was gay <laughs> that's, like, that's like the foozy tube clip but he was like you know i, I <laughs> but he was like he was like you know i thought i was the comment <laughs> <laughs> you know i kept reading when i thought i was you know, i thought i was gay <laughs> that's so funny like wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but yeah. that's see that's a normal thing to say but that's a normal like, thing to say when she got to know you, I think you would have a better chance. Right? Yeah. But because because you're really funny and girls like funny guys. And I'm a funny guy, bro. Like him. Pete is so funny. He gets he yeah. is ugly. But I, I don't funny. I don't think I don't think it's that I'm, I'm, I'm ugly. Not ugly. But she was she was good looking way more than me, dude. Well, I wouldn't say way more. But like, like, what are you saying? Like on a scale of one to ten, what was the difference? Like I'm going two max, max. But two is crazy. Like even, no, I, once you get to the higher numbers, if I'm like a seven, and she, and two a two more is like like a like a like a two and a four, same shit. <laughs> yeah, both <laughs> but like ugly. a seven and a nine are different, dude. Yeah, and also true. she was way taller than me as well. She was closer to your height than she was to mine, dude. Yeah, because I'm five foot six. I don't think honestly I, I'm going one difference. You're going to one. That's crazy. I don't. I think you're downplaying it. Like you're, you're more. It wasn't that big of a difference. Like I think height is a big social norm that mm -hmm. was the difference. But with personality, obviously, the guy. right? Because like, I, so when I said no initially, you couldn't pull her. I I think initially asking for the number was the biggest risk. I think once you got to know you, you're the funniest guy. I think a lot of girls would love to date you. Dude, that's cringe. See, that's too much. That's too much. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was, see, that's good. That one was actually. Hey, dude. Not hey, too dude. Much. Hey, dude. I love you. Dude, I won't. I'll, like, fuck you up right now. <laughs> it's too much. Oh, dude, I hit my elbow. Are you okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, y'all. See, that was weird, right? Because it's... because it's cause How it's, cause long? We need, it, we need to normalize it. We need to normalize it. When was the last it. time you said I love you in a relationship? I have been in a relationship for a while. But did you say I love you? I didn't you? say I love you. Yeah. Um, but then, you know... Why am I so white right now? <laughs> dude, you're white all the time, bro. Am I, I white? It. You're yellow, but it just looks white because there's lighting on you. <laughs> oh, I'm white. I'm white. Let's go. <laughs> but like, like I, I could see myself love. Gabagoo. But then she dropped the. Yeah. Cheated, and I was like, oh, gas. What? When? How many months in do you think that would have taken you? Uh, with Gabagoo. Yeah. Um. Well, how long? What about the first one? But well, with, with I have to do a lot of bleeping with the first one. We were friends for three years, yeah. so I loved her. Yeah, and then I tran I tried to translate that love into <laughs> into um, pissing me off into romantic love. I thought I did it, mm -hmm. but I didn't. You what know when you Joey mean? and Rachel end up? Um, I, mean, I haven't watched Friends. Okay, well Joey and Rachel try to date. It doesn't work, right? We try to date, and like I tr I genuinely I treated my first girlfriend like a friend. Like I treated her like one of the boys. Yeah, but then because when did you say I love you. Well, I loved. I said I love you as a friend already, so it was way easier oh, to say it yeah, yeah, romantically, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. uh, it was a much smaller step. With with the second one, um, it would have taken me a little bit more, but I was getting to that point where I was like, I could really. It would have taken me a bit longer. Um, I guess how many months? Give me a like time. two, like two, like two. Ooh. You know, just to be sure about it. Um, just because like. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to be like particular. I won't really want to make sure I love this person, right? Uh, because I, I was the way I evaluate it is, could I date you for longer than a year? That's the way I evaluate every single relationship, even on our first date. Um, because like I'm not trying to like, I don't want to just like fucking like dick around. Yeah, you know. And when I was dating my second girlfriend, she was like, "Oh, you only had one other girlfriend before? Like that's crazy, bro." I was like, "Oh, dude, dating somebody with like." more like, it's intimidating than you is so like it was it's so intimidating yeah dude because the, the second girl 
that's bet what you're talking about. Best bet she had more experience than yeah. me. It was very, it was intimidating for me. You know, I was like, yeah. I was scared. Guess how long it took me to say I love you? Like eight months. Yeah. Yeah. And it, <laughs> I can't actually remember if it was because I was just so scared of being vulnerable or if I didn't feel it, but I, it, I don't know. I feel like it was a mix of both. Mm -hmm. I, I just also think it was you being because I, it's, it's so weird to say, but at the same time, I have this, I want to say it to like, <laughs> Because, okay, so after Alex's birthday, he texts the group. Yeah. He's like, sure, I wasn't there, Alex. I love you, boys. And I'm like, dude, this guy's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. <clears throat> but it's Objectively, like, it's not. But he loves me. And he was just saying it. Friendship-wise. Yeah. yeah. And that's so normal. You know? <laughs> uh, dude, you know look what? Look how white I am. I think you're just red. I think you're. I think you're. I think you're under so much stress right now of being vulnerable that you're the pigmentation no, of like, your skin. No, is... like, look at this shit, dude. Well, that's pretty white. Yeah. Why am I so white? I don't, dude. I just. I just think this is the first time you notice it. I think you're just naturally like. Like am I, I pale? Am I? I thought it was brown. <laughs> no, dude, you're vibey pale. You're vibey pale. You're not brown. brown. You're not brown. <laughs> not brown. You're not brown. I'm brown with the saturation. You're but also, you have a black shirt on. It's that's just gonna true. make you look whiter. Okay, so like. What are we talking about though? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say things I appreciate. Are you gonna practice? Friendship. Yeah. Are you gonna practice? Okay. You know what? You know you're what? you. I'm not practicing. I'm being. Well, you're gonna practice being vulnerable with me. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have a gift for you. It was actually your second birthday present okay. or a second. So basically, yeah. I said this in uh, a prior episode of Your Sauce. Yeah. I ordered two birthday gifts for you. I mean, Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. Only one of them came. This is the second one right here. If I feel as a man who has experience with vulnerability. And a man who is normalized to it and doesn't yeah. cut it off all the time. Mm -hmm. If I feel that you've hit a good threshold of vulnerability, I'll give you your second Christmas gift. If you don't reach that threshold, it's mine, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I liked about... Okay, so you and Alex, when you guys like talked about girl... Okay, well, I'm going to get into the vulnerability thing in a yeah. sec. I'm just deflecting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, but you guys like always talk about like oh my god like i really like her blah 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 whoa 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 whoa! you're making me sound like a fucking pussy dude i admire it we sometimes talk about sometimes we have girl talk yeah it's great i was talking about we're not a girl talking 24 7 you make it sound like we're talking to girl okay. talk 24 7 i say sometimes yeah we have girl talk but i wouldn't do that well like, welcome yeah remember when i used to just like <laughs> start dating somebody and just not tell you yeah yeah <laughs> it's so stupid it's so stupid. Mm -hmm. I want to know these and things. Like, about, and it's like, fun. It's fun. Because to me, it's embarrassing to like somebody. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, should I have water in my mouth and I can't laugh? No, I'm, I will spit it out. Oh, you, dude, you're going to fuck up my yeah, couch? That's, yeah, I'm not no. going to do that. Be real. Be okay, serious. I'm, dude, I'm literally serious right now. Okay. So like, Okay, here's things I, I, cause I, <laughs> okay, I want to say, I said this, actually, I said this to someone yesterday. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I said this to her yesterday. I think you are my platonic soulmate. That wasn't that bad. Cause I've that's actually pretty before. good. Like, I really, you do said that about me to yeah. her. Yeah. It's great. Because that's great. she was like, the first time I saw your story, like, he was straddling you. <laughs> I was like, nah, nah, it's not mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so since I already said that one, yeah, it's well, like, here, 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 here. Let's go band for band. <laughs> let's go band for band. Let's go band because it's easier for me. Because okay. you have to get good at taking it as well. Because if true. someone says I love you and you're like, you, you're cringe. <laughs> like that's not good either, dude. But I want to be loved so bad at the same time. I love you. I'm gonna, I'm about to love you. I love you too. Here, get. Like actually, no, actually. <laughs> See, it's your fucking fault now. Because I'm not used to you doing it. Okay, okay. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Y'all. One time. Here, let me build the scene. Let me build the scene. One time. Um, one time I got kicked out of my house, and I Ooh. slept the night at Derek's on this couch actually. And I remember when me and Derek were going to sleep. Uh, before we went to sleep, I went in his bed and we cuddled. Um, and you spooned yeah, me while we were watching Turkish ASMR. <laughs> and you massage know, ASMR. Turkish massage ASMR. Yeah. And, and we were we were literally cuddling. Like my head was in your lap. And, we were cuddling. and you know what you said to me? I still believe it. To, I know it to this day. You said to me, I always have you, bro. I do. And I still believe it. I mean, I don't believe it. I know it. Because it's true. And it I love you, true. bro. I love you, bro. 
Oh, you too. Yeah. <laughs> See, you're making it bad, bro. I'm turning this fucking light off. It's pissing me off. Dude, it's because... Dude, but now it looks so dark. You made the vibes weird, dude. You made the vibes all weird. Turn the light back on, bro. Uh, hello everyone, Editor Nico here. When Derek puts his mic down on the couch, I don't know exactly what happens, but it just completely fucks the audio, like, to the point where I can't even fix it. There's just a loud ring noise for, like, there's just, like, a loud beeping noise for the rest of the audio track, and I can't do anything about it. So what I've done is I've taken the raw camera audio... And I'm using that for the rest of the episode instead. I definitely know this isn't ideal, but unfortunately, it's the only other source of audio that we have from this episode. So if you guys, like, either stop watching or listening because, like, the audio for the rest of this episode is just dog, I totally understand that. Um, I'm very sorry about that, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching or listening this far. Anyways, love you guys. You do, you're normal. Dude, I hate to break it to you, bro. But that's you. Am I Edward? Am I? I'm not Taylor Lautner. I'm Edward. Yeah, you're Edward. Okay, I'm Taylor Lautner. You're Edward. So like, here, here, here. Came with a couple more vulnerabilities, and let's see if you're worthy of this gift, bro. Okay. So the thing is, well, I don't even know what else to say because one of my problems in my relationships, she'd be like, "Tell me something. Like, what do you love about me?" Yeah, and I'd be like, Shh, "I like when you're nice to me." Ah! Dude, I know that it's is so weak. bad. That's weak, dude. I know. Get get at the core. Dig right now. <laughs> okay. Dig, dig. What do I? If you ask what I love about you, Can we, should we hold hands while we do this? Right? No. Okay. 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 What do you? Yo. Hey, dude. Yeah. What do you love about me, bro? I love that. That um, <laughs> like I think. I love that you. I don't want, I want to say this in a way that is only you. Cause I say like, I love that we like vibe so well together, but it's about me still. I want to make it just about you, okay. you know, because I do love that when we hang out, it's the most fun thing ever, but that's still like, as there's sort of, I'm roped into that. I want it to be like, just me specific, yeah. just tailored, yeah, tailored Lautner. So, yo, no, <laughs> no, no. no. He went on his phone. He went on his phone, bro. He said, he said, he said, yo, no. I love that. I know that we'll, okay, well, this isn't about you either, but I know that we'll be friends forever. But is that, that's not, no. I love that you are reliable. I know I can rely on you if anything bad happened. I, I feel the same about you. Hey, dude, proud of you. Don't bad. say that though, bro. Well, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud like of you. That. I'm I, proud I, of you. I'm proud of you. You're go you're going through a huge change in your life, and I'm like, proud of you. Like proud is so fucking weird. To I'm me. proud of you, dude. I feel like my dad was supposed to say that, not you. So it's just like what well, we do. We're each other's father figures. Okay. I'm proud of you, bro. Okay. I, I that one doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> it's just that one's weird to me, dude. You're losing the gift, bro. You dude, have to let proud, it sit well. well, to me, proud is like you didn't think I could do it. If you thought I could pull through, you would you still be proud? Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, I told you during the drowning episode that I would always be proud of you. And I meant it. That's so... That no, matter, no matter how big... Oh, dude, yeah. no matter how big the yeah. win is, I'm still going to be proud of you. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate that. Give me give me okay. one one more vulnerability. Okay. It can be about you. It can be about anything. It can be about your mom. Yeah. And I'll let you out. You, well, you'll earn this. I appreciate... Our friendship so like much because why well, just never had a best friend, and I think people that don't have best friends, I like feel bad for because I have you as my best friend, and that wasn't actually that hard to say, dude. I'm fucking good at this shit, like. Give me this shit. I was giving you a hug, but you can have oh, your hand. Oh, 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 no, I, I don't even want it anymore. I don't even want the hug anymore, bro. <laughs> No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what, what, what movie is this from? <laughs> what, what is this from? I don't know, dude. It's a Bobby Lee shirt, guys. He's holding a gun, y'all. And he's holding a gun, and I really like Bobby Lee. So I have Pete Davidson and Bobby Lee, but I literally have no idea what this movie is You have to do research from. on it, dude. Yo, thank you. <laughs>
It's in a Gildan. I don't know what would be in a Gildan. So. Oh, Gildans are gas. I'm wearing a Gildan. Thank you. I, thank I, you. I love you, King. Okay, I love you too. You know what we should do? I'm What's so that? serious because I actually, like, have I made it clear that, like, I really do want to get better? Yeah. We should just start saying I love you more. Like, oh, we don't need to do that. That's not right. <laughs> I'm kidding. 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 Okay. Because remember that? Okay, so remember the first girl I dated? Yeah. Not like the first, like second one. Mm-hmm. She would say I love you to her best friend. It was kind of gassy. I say I love you, Alex, all the time. Okay, well, damn. Okay, I'm missing out, I guess. Well, because I, I didn't know we were like that, bro. Let's I, do that. You don't, you're not a big, you weren't, a, before, just from an external view, you weren't a big, you weren't a big, if I told you I love you, you'd tell me to fuck off, bro. I know. <laughs> I'm different now. Okay, we, okay, dude, dude. I love you. I mean, I love everything about you, bro. Okay. That one was gay. <laughs> like, it has, you know? <laughs> See, that was platonic love. But you, still, that's still part of your brain thinks okay, it's gay. That's true. Right? I'm homophobic a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we should do that. Okay. I don't know. Like, I really think if I'm, if I'm vulnerable here, I'll be vulnerable in my relationships and I'll have no more problems. Life will be good. Because I want my life to be good. My life is so good right now. Like, I have so many good aspects. Like, I literally did beat for five days. <laughs> Yeah, but then you folded. Yeah, everybody folds. But I love what we do with beer sauce. I love the fans. I love you guys. We just hit 10,000. We just uploaded today the 10,000 month. Yeah. I think it's crazy. And it. follow us on Instagram. There's so much behind the scenes stuff. Like I'm saying so much behind How the scenes How many people stuff. do you think are restrictively on YouTube? I feel like not a lot of people. I don't know. I feel like most people come from other platforms. If you if you were raw dogging beer sauce just on YouTube, <laughs> respect by the way, crazy. How many people do you think only watch the clips on TikTok? A lot, a lot probably. Huh. But huh. like, I don't know. Well, I'm saying right now, like beer sauce podcast on Instagram, we post behind the scenes shit. Like he sh- straddled me. Yeah, I straddled him, bro, and because um, we're platonic soulmates here, this is my boy. This is my boy. You didn't even s- say one last thing, man. Okay, bet. Okay, yeah. let me think. Just I want to make it just to you. I think you're brilliant. Genuinely. I think you're one of the smart people I've ever really? talked to. One time when me and Derek were playing Fortnite. Um, I cranked some 90s. You cranked some 90s, but also you just talked about... We were talking about Instagram stories because we wanted to post more on the Beer Sauce Instagram story. Yeah. Shout out, by the way. And um, you were talking about what makes a good story yeah. and what doesn't. And you were using examples of creators... And then you were also using examples of like creators you like that make good stories yeah. and creators you dislike that make bad stories. Mm-hmm. And you just, for like 20 minutes while we were getting a Vic, Vic Roy, you were just going into this, right? I genuinely think you are fucking so smart. Yeah, thank you. Like actually the way, like- the way you were going into it was crazy. This guy messaged me last night. Derek's like, yo, by the way, bro, on our beer sauce highlights, when you use photos of other people's faces, we get less views. Yeah. I didn't fucking notice that. Yeah. I didn't fucking notice that, bro. I genuinely think. When it comes to what you want to do, you're probably one of the smartest people I've ever met. Damn, dude. Thank you. I think that's like an insecurity of mine that I'm like stupid. So that like... I think when you compare yourself yeah. to uh, a fucking math genius. Yeah. No lie, bro. different. <laughs> yeah. I'm a shit. Yeah. I'm not Einstein. But when you are at what you want to be good at, you're good at it. Okay. And you're getting really good that's at good. it. Really quickly. Yeah. Thank you. It's crazy. I'm trying to figure out my love language. You can have you can have a combination of them. I know, but like I'm trying to figure out like which ones like are gassiest to me. Like, I guess that was like <coughs> words of affirmation. What are the what are the main ones? Quality time, words of affirmation, gift giving, physical touch. I feel like they're all necessary to a positive. Yeah, but like since I suppress so much, I don't know. I think you'll figure it out. Hopefully, physical touch. <laughs> Maybe I want ruling it out. I was talking about sex, dude. That does not make it just sex. Physical. I was making a joke about physical touch and like that's not funny, bro. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Beer sauce.